Hello everyone, how is everybody? Yeah, I uh, welcome you all to another episode of The Sea Raven. Yeah, we've got some uh, great plans for this one. Uh, yeah, we're going to move our base. Uh, we're going to look for some more gold. And of course, we have the uh, never ending task of getting a new crew. But I do want to choose a place that uh, is going to allow me shipbuilding. Yeah. So, yeah, we got to figure that one out. So, uh, again, I hope everybody is doing well. And as always, I'm going to begin this uh, episode with a kind of uh, um, beginning here, a little story. So, uh, yeah, let's get right to it. So the Sea Raven now has a helper. Um, great armor and weapons and uh, she found some more camps to raid for supplies and gold and but she was also keenly aware that this first small camp was quickly becoming obsolete her goal was to get off this island and to do that she needed a ship and a crew yeah so it's time to look for a final base of operations to build her ship and um, pursue Oh, a ship and our crew. Uh, Steve was proving to be a pretty good fighter and a loyal companion. And she had to keep pressing forward in search of gold to hire a new crew. Yeah, they're going to cost money. So as always, we are after gold. <laughs> yes. So um, she... Um, oh, other than the armor trader... Um, that we found in the last episode. Uh, she's not seen another friendly face. Uh, the undead creatures that she and Steve encountered, though, really troubled her. And what kind of place is this? Yeah, that was a little creepy. Uh, we don't mind the animals. We don't mind the, uh, the shipwreck crews down there. But yeah, the undead is another story altogether. So uh, yeah. Oh, hi, Helga. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm glad, I'm glad you found the, the stream. Yeah, I did have to move it to today. Just for today, I'm doing this, uh, this 11 o'clock stream that usually happens on Mondays. Because as I said in the notice in the community tab that I do have an appointment on Monday that I cannot change or move. So, yeah. So here we are. Um, so getting back to things here i think i'm gonna scout up this beach here i kind of think from going there before where i want to build again if we look on the map i'm right here and this needs to be open to the to the sea in order for me to actually leave the island i really liked it in here but as you can see this is um you know very enclosed there's no way i can build a ship and get it out of here uh, i'm not fond of this area over here i'd rather stay on this side of the map because like i said before i do like this area better so we're gonna try to do that so i'm thinking about right in here might be good Oh, you're doing building, Helga? Oh, <laughs> wow, seven and a half hours. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Sean. How are ya? <laughs> Acne ship seep teep or seep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, teen, teen sports? Yeah. Well, we are heading around the bend here, and I am still constantly running out of water here. Uh, I did, I did move my attributes. I put a little bit in survival, so hopefully, uh, you know, I wouldn't need quite so much water all the time. Yeah, and uh, I have to tell you, I cannot wait for 3.0 to come out and this whole attribute thing be changed over because it's going to be so much better oh can't wait for that this already seems pretty cumbers cumber cumber forget it yeah uh, compared to the one that's coming out 
It's gonna be one of those days when I can't talk. All right, so I kind of like these little alcove things. These are kind of nice, but the further you go up here, the more alligators there are. This one's kind of nice. I like this. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> we build them, we box them, ship them, and send you on your way. Acme shipping, <laughs> don't settle for you. <laughs> Less, yeah. This is this is just all kinds of cool. I like this. So this may be where I go. I mean, I really don't want to move everything too too far. Oh, this is nice too. Well, I could combine the two. Uh, that might be quite nice. And then we still have access to the open sea. The only problem is, is that ship over there, uh, if they notice us building a shipyard here and uh, all that sort of thing, they may, be, they may become troublesome. I don't know. So let's look at the map again. Uh, I'm right here. Obviously, they're right here somewhere. So this is still going to leave us pretty open. So this looks like a really good spot. We could get blocked in if we decided to go here, but if we go here, we're still going to have room to get out, even if they try to block us in this bay right here. So I don't think I really want to go any further than this. And again, I like this part right here. So, all right, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to start right here with our little base of operations and kind of work this in because this right here, I do believe is, yeah, that's quite a hangover right there. Yeah. So let's check it out a little more. Yeah, we could actually build it up and then out from here if I wanted to. This could be kind of like the tower lookout area. I don't think anything would um, come from up top at us from that angle. Uh, not the entire perimeter, Shano. No, I haven't. Uh, Cause like I said, I like this area of the map because I like this here. I could go up here and I do know that there's a black hand camp up here and we all know that the the um, traders are up here. Uh, I like being close to these two islands right here because there's a lot to be had on these. So yeah, Sean, it is difficult to choose a base. Um, that's right you do you don't want to miss out on things so I, I mean there's still a lot in this area uh that i need to explore and you know these two particular camps are really good and like i said i like that um, we're still close to this area so i think all the action all the opportunities for gold and crew are probably in this area so yeah i think that's what i want to do and plus, I'm not too keen on uh, moving my whole camp that I've got so far um, a long distance. Yeah. But when 3.0 comes out, there's going to be portals, which is just, that's just going to be phenomenal to have those available. So, yeah, can't wait for that one. All right, so we need wood and stone. So just to get us started, we're going to go up here and... Hack down some trees. That's branch. All right, so let's get our tools on here and see how much we can get before we actually run out. So before I change my mind, we're gonna lay down some foundations here. Yeah, so the eagle picks a crag, but the eagle knows. <laughs> the eagle will be up here. 
This is the base of operations down there, which the eagle can guard from up here. Yeah. I mean, there's opportunity to even go up there if I want to. Yeah. But for ease of uh, a pathway to the water, yeah, that's what that's the plan. That's what we're gonna do. Hey, David, how are ya? How you doing? It's good to see you here. Yeah, you know, I like to be able to see. And in any game that, my, that I've played, I'm more apt to pick a really tall area. You know, really high area. Especially if stealth is allowed in the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds good, David. That sounds very yummy. All right, so we're going to switch to our pickaxe here. Get some stone. And we do have our Steve with us. <laughs> Which now that I saw that clip you did of Steve, the little monkey. Oh my gosh, that's so so cute. That is so, so funny. Yeah, I kind of wished I could have him actually. Yeah, that would be cool. Don't go too far, Steve. We get some stone for you here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Atta boy. Plop that right on you. Get as much as we can here. And I'm actually not too far away from my trader up there, am I? That's even better. Because that's another thing. I need to get gold in order to uh, buy some more of this nice armor. Because to make this, I need the heavy padding. And that's going to require 40 thick leather. Just for the padding, mind you. It's very expensive to make. So even though 60 gold sounds like a lot... All right, how are we doing, Steve? From the side there, Steve, you almost look like a girl. I had to, I had to do a double take there. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, interesting. Must be the armor, right? All right, so what do these require? These actually take more wood or take more? Uh-huh, I should be doing more wood. So, let's go this way and see what we can find. See if we can find a little more. Oh yeah, there's some up this little path up here. Oh, one of your um, cheats is a four by harvesting. Yeah. Well, this, don't forget, this is also on barbarian mode. And barbarian mode is really tough. Yeah. You harvest less. Um, you, you know, you get the enemies are stronger. Uh, everything costs more to make. Olga, you just exhausted yourself. <laughs> it can be. It can be exhausting. All right, so we need our light here. All right, Steve. I've got some more for you here, buddy. Give you that and that. And then I did scout up there. And man, is there a lot of wolves up there? 
Yeah, a lot of wolves. You know, I should pick a couple of these just to... Yeah, and I noticed in my other videos that I wasn't using the sickle <laughs> to harvest plant fiber with. That upset a few people, I think. <laughs> They're like, why were you doing that? Well, yeah, precisely. Why? If I'm really heavy, I'm not going to take a sickle and overload myself with a sickle. That is sometimes my reasoning. And then other times, I just plain forget. Yeah. But I think we've got probably enough to get a good start, I hope. What have we got here for wood, Steve? Yeah, 641. There's another tree right there. Ah, uh, I hear wolf. Ah, uh, hear him. I think he's up on top, though. I oh, no, he isn't. Ah! All right, Steve. Get him. Ah, a boy. Oh. Yeah, look at the health on that bad boy. 988. Wow. All right, Steve. Ouch. Come on, Steve. Step up to the plate there, buddy. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Now, I do have him on guard me. I don't know if that makes a difference. Whoops, wrong one. So... Um, we were headed up this trail, I think. We're not going to go too much farther up here. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's plenty good enough. All right, uh, it's gonna be hard to see this in the nighttime. But I think if I just look for, right in here, I do believe so. Yes, this is it. All right, so what I want to do is probably grab these off from you. I'm going to make a bunch of foundations first. Make 21. That'll get us a good start. Pick these up. Yeah, Sean. Starry, starry night. All right. Yeah, the night sky is pretty. The sun, the moon's going down though, so. All right, so we want a direct shot to the water here. That is the plan. The vision I have planned for the base, that's that's pretty much it. I want a, sh a straight shot to the water. Um. But the other thing is, yeah, I think yeah, I don't care if that back piece there is yeah, I think I'm going to end it there anyway. So let's just go this way. And you're not going to let me fill in that corner, are you? No, you're not. All right, fine. Let me change it later then. And 
now that I'm thinking on it, I think, I think I may change these too. I think I might go for the stable set, actually. Oh, I don't, I may not have that DLC in this particular map. Let's see if I do. No, I do not. Well, no, I think I saw it. Uh, I need the stable set, so I think that is... Nope, I don't. Ah, huh, go figure. Showing all. Okay, there we go. No, I do not. Ooh, Granny, what are you going to do now, huh? Now, I would have thought that the DLCs from my basic Conan game would be included in this one because they're the same map, but I guess they're not. So. Oh, thanks, David. You like my video on 3.0? Um, yeah, a lot of people are not. Yeah, I, I looked it over quite a few times, and that's the conclusion that I came to. It, I, I'm on a wait and see, too. But to me, and maybe I'm just naive, they seem very sincere about want, wanting to do the best they could for Conan. And uh, so that's the way I'm looking at it anyway. So let's see if, oh, I need more wood, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, well, I think I took everything off you I possibly could. All right, so we are going to put the rest of this on you. Get rid of that. Well, that'll get us started. At least we know where we are and we can start from here. All right, we are not that far. So this is kind of great, yeah. So I do need to collect some money. I do need to do that. So, like I said, I do want another set of armor for Steve. He's got pretty decent armor on, but if he had a set like mine, he'd be even better off. So we're gonna try for that. So we're going to head up this way. And I would like to take these guys out again. Uh, Steve has a better sword on him now. He does have um, the cutlass, which does 23 damage. So he may be able to do a better job with these guys now. So let's, let's just check it out. Let's see what he does. And I do believe I have him on guard me, so he shouldn't do anything unless I direct him to. All right, you two. We're taking you two out first. Come on. Get over here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Did you see? See that? Wow. I, you know what I did? I hit the light attack, then the heavy attack, and the light attack again, and she did this stabby thing. Well, that was cool. That was very cool. Now, why did I pick that up? I don't want that. That was a... Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know if that was a combo or what that was. I didn't get it that time, so I don't I don't know what I did to get that. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. All right, buddy. Let's just get rid of you. There she goes <laughs> again. 
seriously, that is some kind of combo. Oh, 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 look. Oh, man. There's enough. I got to get a shovel because I know usually those are armor. All right, so I'm thinking it's two heavy attacks, a light attack, two heavies, and then another light attack. Yeah, and she does the... Wow. Oh, wow, that must be... Um, to this sword only, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Sean, doesn't it? It does a, a take that. It does. Wow, I'm impressed. Ooh, ooh, gold. Ten, no least. No less. No least. Uh-oh. I told you it's going to be one of those days. Yikes. Ooh, and some silver. Yes, we'll take that. Anything else? We got to get these flotsam boxes. Where are they? Oh, they're way over here. Because I, I know the shovels are, you know show up in here. So let's hope we can get one. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. Uh, flotsam. No, just the materials. Unless it's in in the flotsam itself. The supply crate. I hate to kind of open that now, but I really want to know. A corrupted stone and dry wood. It's not exactly what I had in mind, guys. Ooh, steel fire. Ooh, and brimstone. Steve, where are you? Oh, jeez, he's off fighting somebody. Come here there, buddy. I got some stuff for you. You're just doing your job, aren't you? All right, we're going to give you... Oh, we'll give you this heavy brick. Oh, but you don't have enough room. Uh, oh, maybe that. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier. Not much. I'm going to give you that. Hey, Inger. It's good to see you here. Yeah. I'm glad to see all you guys here. Uh, I didn't know how many would actually... Oh, another 10 cell. Yes. Would actually see the community tab and know that I was doing the, the stream, live stream today. So, yeah. Glad to have you here. Um, we don't want that. Oh, here's another one right here. What do you got? Got some gold? Nope. All right, so we are going to continue. I do know there are, there is a gold chest, one of the chests that has some gold up here. Yeah, right over there, that tower. So we're going to go over and at least get that because to my experience, it has some gold bars in it as well. So that's what we're going to go for. Oh, that's good to know, David. So 7 p.m., that's what it is where you are at this time. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I chose to do my live streams at two different times because of that. The 5 o'clock is actually a little better for uh, my area and on the East Coast. So that works out. Hey, bad dad. <laughs> How are you? Now, what are you doing, Granny? All right, so. Ah, it's good to see a uh, bad dad, you know? <laughs> I didn't know if you'd catch that either. Yeah. So that, that's really awesome, guys. I'm pleased. So, all right. We'll use a bandage because we can, we can hang out for a minute. Am 
and off we go. I need another bite of food here. Maybe there's, was there a chest down here? I don't think there is. I think they're all up, well, all. The one that I'm looking for is up there and that's it. So let's just put this away. Um, looks like it's right in front this time. Sometimes it's in back and sometimes it isn't. Come on, stamina, let's go. I don't have many patients. <laughs> it's like, hurry up. I don't think I can do any. Oh, I do have eight. Ooh. Yeah, we can go a little bit more. And yes, sir, there it is. Oh, look. Oh, it's all silver this time. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Oh, I was hoping for some bars of gold, but yeah. All right. All right. I'm happy. Oh no. Oh, the maelstrom's out. Oh, geez, that figures. That figures. You know, maybe we'll skip up to the end here. Am I, how far away am I? Yeah, I'm still quite a ways. I don't think I want to go all the way back there. Hmm. Yeah, so we're going to head back this way then. Get up there, get up there. Let's go. Uh, you know, it wouldn't hurt to take down some trees as we go here. If we don't run out of stamina, that is. As long as there's a lot of trees here, I can just put them on old Steve. Um, did I grab any... No, I need more iron bar. All right, so we'll get as many as we can anyway. Timber! Steve, here you go, buddy. Uh-oh. You don't have any room. All right, so we're going to we're going to swap with you, my boy. We're just going to chop until we run out of axe. What did I hear? I heard something. Was... Ah! It's a gator! What are you doing up here? I couldn't get it to do it again. That is really strange. I, I you know, I kind of wonder. You haven't cut down any trees, Helga, and you're level 60? How did you manage that? Oh, because you're playing on a server, so you let your teammates do all the tree chopping? Uh, 
what do we got here? Oh, 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 dog. You doing him, Steve? Well, you are, aren't you? Well, good boy. Good boy. So, let's see, can we? Um, we'll put that there for now. Uh, yep, hide's good. Oh, hell God. Oh, is that true? Is it all mods? <laughs> Are you using admin? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I can't say a word because I usually build that way. <laughs> I'm not going to on this game, but I usually do. So I can't say a word. Nope. Yeah, you did build a nice pyramid, Helga. That is just beautiful. Yes, you did a nice job with that. That's something that I haven't done. I have not built a pyramid. And I need some water. We got some water. Any more gators here? No gators, no gators. Oh, there's one. We're going to ignore you for now. Let's gather some stamina here. How we doing, Steve? Got some more wood for you, actually. There you go, my boy. And there he is. And there's the place. Oh. Uh-oh. What do we got here? Uh-huh. We have another friendly camp. I think we do. All right, buddy. You're friendly. I can see that. You're not doing anything. <laughs> Hello, honored traveler. Would you like to buy a camel? These are the very best camels around. I can promise you they come from very best bloodlines. They can carry many goods for you. A camel trader, huh? Well, how much do you want for a camel? That camel over there will give you... I will give you my very best price just for you. I only ask 30 silver. Ha! That camel's not worth 5 silver. I'll give you 10. You insult me, fair one. I will take 20 silver as a special price for you. How about I cut you down and take the camel? Oh, come now, fair one. I would not be right to take such a one as you from this earth. I will give you the bottom price of 15 silver. Oh, do I have 15? Let's hope I do. I think I do. Um, geez. Do I? I didn't check. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. Wise choice. I'll return with the money. All right. So we got to check. I didn't dare. Oh, we got 22. We picked up 22. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's go back up to this guy. We're just going to flip through all of this. Okay, so here's your money. And remember the name, Sea Raven. I will not soon forget Fair One. <laughs> Excellent. That's wonderful. All right. 
So I guess this is the camel. We bought a camel. How nice. <laughs> Yippee. All right. So all right, let's check you out. What have you got? Oh, 315 health. The only thing he's got is one in survival. But he does have 93% chance of growth in his vitality. I wonder if these things are going to uh, change in 3.0 as well. Yeah. No, that, that refers to skin, David. And let's see. Um... What else we got here? I guess that's about it. All right. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he doesn't come with a saddle? You cheapo. Well, let's just hit... Oh, look at all the spaces he's got, though. Yeah, that's what I want. Perfect for moving. So follow me, buddy. You coming? Oh, yeah, what a good camel. <laughs> Here he comes. Nice. Yeah, so we're just going to get right on the work of uh, moving this camp for sure. Now yeah, they're kicking up some dust. Come on, guys. Need some water here. Did you, Helga? Yeah. Well, I kind of like that trader. I didn't have to get a baby to grow up. I just got the camel, period. <laughs> nice. Come here, camel. a boy. So, what are we going to put on you, my friend here? We're going to put some of this stuff. But I think I want to put... Um, we're going to take these boxes for sure and put those on you. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry all this or not. No, I didn't think so. Well, we'll move some of this onto the camel. So we'll have to move this slowly, I guess. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Let's pick that up. All right, Mr. Camel. We're going to put the heavy stuff on you. And uh, let's see, put that. What do I got, 110 now? that on you. I know the armor's heavy. Uh, take those. Um, do I need dry wood right now? I don't think I do. We're going to drop those, but I'm going to put this on this camel. And yeah, let's take all of this and pick this up. And put that on you. Nice. <laughs> yeah, bad dad. I got a U-Haul now. I do. <laughs> yeah. He's he's going to be quite handy, actually. All right. So let's get this. Whoops. I didn't get the right one here. What do we got? Oh, and he makes funny noises. All right. So we'll put these two metals on you. And then I think that will get us started. I think Steve is already full, isn't he? Yeah, he's already got quite a bit of stuff on him. So, actually, well, I can't take all of this stone, but I'll put what I can on old Steve here. Can I carry the rest? No, I cannot. All right, fine. All right, too bad I couldn't ride the camel, huh? Hey, Pop, how you doing? And here he comes. <laughs> what a crew. What a motley crew. So we're going to go over here and um, move and build as we go, I think. I think that's the best plan here. Awesome, Pub. Yeah, you two have fun.
All right, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, I really need to get that next perk <laughs> where my stamina tick is like increased a little bit here. Oh no, I thought it was right here that I built. Did I do the wrong thing? I did, didn't I? I moved one more over. I didn't want to do that. That's what you get for doing things in the dark, guys. Um, yeah. Well, you know, that's all right. We'll just, we'll just deal here. It's all right. We gotta, oh, we have to name our camel. What are we gonna name our camel? He's a two humper. So they call those what? A dromedary? I think. I think a dromedary is a two hump camel. I do believe. Hi, plant. Um, boy, let's, let's take out our stations here and at least get those down. I can always move these later to suit myself. So for now though, I think we're just gonna, this is gonna be the factory end of things. Um, where, where is my, huh? You know, I always have a hard time seeing that thing. Um, there it is. It's still on my camel, that's why. Uh, let's put you up there. Right. Whoops. Right there for now. Oh, good. That thing is leaving. Thank goodness. Put our couple of boxes down. Hey, Sesame, how are ya? How you doing? You little Baldur's Gate person. That thing is getting just fascinating. Oh my goodness, I am so, so hooked on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, I can put, what am I doing? I should be putting this hide on my Tanner's bench here. There we go. Actually, I should go down through all of this. Uh, yeah, Sesame, it is. <laughs> it is, I'm telling you. Oh, I just can't wait for you to put another one out. Another, yeah, another video of it. I just look for them. I'm behind on one, though, because you put out like almost three in a row there. So, I, I, you know, I got I to gotta catch up. Yeah, Helga, I know you're watching them too. You enjoy them as well, don't you? Yeah, oh, you have four? Oh my goodness, I really am behind. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so we're going to plop this in there, this. Oh, looky this. Look at this. We need this. We need this right here, as a matter of fact. There we go. Uh, yeah, so let's put this in there. And you... Um, this has got to go in here. All right, Camel. Let's just take everything off you. Uh, can we make any of these? No, I need the wood. Steve, you got the wood? Yes, you do. That's my boy. All right, now we can do it. So let's go ahead and do 16. Oh, okay, Pub. That's fine. Don't mind that lurking at all. I do a fair amount of that myself. All right, so let's extend this out a little more. Uh, there we go. Let's 
get rid of some more of this heavy stuff. Maybe I got enough to put in here. Yes, we do. All the bars. Um, no, I don't have enough room for that yet. So we'll move this other stuff on our next trip. So let's fill this back up. Um, put you in there. And then, you know, probably uh, off stream, I will organize all this and sort it all out and yeah, do all that. Because this is very time consuming, as you can see. Um, oh, raw meat. Yeah, well, we'll move that. There's the silver bar. I guess we can put that in there for now. Put that in there. Um, put you in there. Uh, let's see, that, that, and that. Whoops, we're out of room. Okay. We knew that was going to happen, but my camel's empty. Uh, Steve almost is. Let's see. Let's grab this, though. We're going to put this in here. And that. All right, so let's go back and get some more. You coming, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of really like this camel. We're, we're going to name him Humpty. Yeah, Humpty the camel. He's got to have a name, guys. What? Get up there. Uh, do I have to do this on the keyboard? I didn't think I did, but maybe I do. Yeah, I think I do. All right, fine. Fine, Humpty. We'll do it your way. Whoops. Now, how did I get on my own? There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. Humpty it is. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sesame. It's not very uh, creative, <laughs> you might say. Uh... Yeah, I'm in the process of moving my base, Sesame. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you why. Because right where I am right now, there's that whole shipwreck right in front of me. So it doesn't really give me a chance to build a shipyard to build my ship in. And, you know, a base for my whole crew. Because that's one of our goals is to hire a crew and build a ship and get off this island. It's pretty... uh pretty congested right in here so that's why I don't do that I'm not gonna stay here it was temporary to begin with just to get started and get some things made so I could uh, get some weapons and things so I need to move this so let's just grab everything in there and pick this up and come here, Humpty. We need you, boy. Yeah, he's going to carry all the money, all these. Ooh. Um, maybe not. I'm going to. I'm just going to put the heavy stuff on him, I guess. Yeah, because I can carry that. So, all right. Take all that. Um, put some more wood on you. What can I swap out here? I guess that's, I guess that's good. All right, my little camel. Um, oh, 
Oh, that's still going to leave me heavy, but Steve's got room. Oh, I didn't take the hardened brick off him, though. All right. Well, that's all right. Uh, let's see. Still got me down there. Pretty good. All right. Uh, I'm also going to grab one of these torches, too. Matter of fact, I think I'll grab a couple of these. Thank you, Sesame, for that. You can't post links on the stream. Yeah. I don't think they allow you to do that, personally. Yeah. You're not on my Discord, David. Uh, yeah, there's a link to it right in the description of this video. If you go... Uh, if you open up this stream... In the description part, you'll find a link to my Discord. I change it every week. Every time I uh, bring up a stream, a new stream, uh, every Monday, I change the Discord. Because I do think it expires in seven days, which is, you know, just a week. I'll send you an invite in any case, David, to my Discord, if you can't find it. All right, so we are going to plant a another torch right here. And yeah, and that's it for now. Okay. Come over here, Humpty. Come on. And a boy. Let's see. Let's take our stations here. Put the armorer down. And I wasn't sure um, if I was going to use this armor or tanner's table or not, I, I think I'm going to still hold off on putting that in here. So we're just going to plop it in the armor's bench for now. And uh, yeah, put some of these other items back in. Uh, let's see. You know, let me pick this up because I'd like to put one more down. I hope I have enough. No, I need more wood. Humpty, did I put wood on you? A little bit. Hi, FBI boss. It's good to see you here. Is there a way to change Bench Thrall's armor? Uh, not without a mod, I believe. Yeah, there are some mods out there that you can do that with. And I do believe Ember Light is one of them. They have a little bench that you can put your thrall in and, and change their clothing. If anybody knows of any other way in-game that you can do that, you know, let us know. But as far as I know, you can't. Oh, we can only make three. We got to do some serious wood chopping here. Nice. Where'd you, oh, where'd I find my camel? <laughs> I found a camel trader. He sold it to me for 15 silver. He was going to try to get 30 silver out of me, but I, I talked him down. Yeah. No, I don't think you can do anything with thralls in game, to be honest with you. Uh, you can your, you uh, can of course change your armor on your, this thrall. 
But as far as changing his appearance, like from male to female or female to male or hair or anything like that, you can't do that without a mod. Whether they're going to make that change in 3.0, I don't know. They didn't say anything about it, but, you know, you never know. All right, so we got to put all our money in here. Do I have any on me? I think I just got copper here. Oh, the Orb of Nurgle. That's right. Now, I never used that in this game, but you can get that in this game, can't you? Uh, that is right here. But that is for your own character, though. That is not for Thralls. But if you want to change the look of your own character, uh, you can get this feat at level 45. And, yeah. And you can change your own thrall a little bit. I do not know if you can change it from male to female. I don't think you can do that, but I think you can change the hair, you know, um, any uh, war paint kind of thing, or if you want to put a beard on your male character, you can do that, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, you can. Thank you, Sesame. You all right? I take that back, guys. I, 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 yep. Consider me corrected. You can change the, the sex of the, of the thrall, or yourself. I'm sorry, not your thrall, but yourself, in that. Or, nice. Thank you for that, Sesame. Uh, like I said, I never used it. <laughs> I placed it because I thought it was cool, but, uh, I never actually used it. So, all right. Good to know. All right, what to get on you, your little camel? We gotta take everything off you. I'm gonna put the. Where did it go? Did I take money off in you, buddy? We gotta put this on there for sure. Oh, well, I guess I didn't. Well, we're gonna put this other stuff on you. We need to put this down. And like I said, I'm going to organize this a little better. So let's plop this in there and all of this. Um, oh, that's silver. Let me put that over there. Um, Steve, what do you got on your boy? Let's see. We'll take that and that. And let's see, that could have gone over here. Put you in there. I'm going to throw you in there just to... Well, what am I doing? Get you in there. Um, yeah. Sesame, you know, they changed so many things uh, in this game over the years that it's hard to keep track of what's, what's, uh, you know, still available, what has changed and what hasn't changed. So thank you for checking that for us. Yeah. So no, you can't change the gender. Oh, Blue Titan, you're not liking the idea of nerf nerfing Thralls in 3.0? Uh, I don't think you're going to need to worry because your Thrall can be leveled up through your authority. So I don't know the details of what's available in that, but they did say they didn't like the idea of Thralls being the star of the show. And I get that because your Thralls, you're forced to use them because you're not strong enough to take on anything. So they're going to change that. You're you're going to be able to be stronger. And if you use the authority attribute, you're going to be able to make your thralls as strong as you are. 
but not stronger. That's, that's the take I have on it. But that still remains to be seen. So, you know, I don't know, guys. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I'm pretty excited about it all. I mean, I just think that um, going about changing that whole attributes thing is just phenomenal. I think that needed to happen. I mean, it was, yeah, it was very clumsy in my opinion. Well, yeah, yes and no, Sesame. They are, um, they are nerfing them. Uh, and they used Tiamos as an example of how badly unbalanced they were because he was. But they did say they're still leaving his cap out at 12,000. That's still huge, guys. I don't think I got many thralls past 12,000. But I understand in some instances uh, he was going beyond that, which is a little crazy. Yeah, Sesame, exactly. And, and you know, you're saying that you used a T1 and, and beat the game with a uh, 3,000K, you know, thrall. That's what they don't want to happen. They want to correct that. And I totally agree with that because it's kind of frustrating when your thralls are more powerful than you are. So I, I'm all for that personally. I, I mean, I like that. There is going to be the ability to actually get more than one thrall now too. They're not saying how many more. There is one perk in the authority where you can um, acquire one more thrall, but it doesn't say if you've already got a few thralls on top of that, if they allow you any to start with. You know, are you going to have two thralls to start with and, you know, and then have a, an extra? They don't tell you that, so I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're just going to pick all these up because there's no point in losing these, right? Oh, are my, oh wait a minute. Can I get you? Yes, I can. Nice. All right. Oh, and then the building, guys. Oh, man. That was another much needed change, what they're doing with the building. Yeah. Uh, very, very excited for that as well. Uh, whoops. Come on, get up there. There we go. We're going to take our little torch with us. <laughs> yeah, Sesame. I'm going to be in heaven with that new building system. And so is everyone. I mean, all it, it includes not just building, but all the placeables. Um, they haven't decided what to do with the artisan's bench yet because a lot of those things, items, you're going to be able to get right with your construction hammer. So, yeah, which is how you're going to be able to access all that now is through a construction hammer. And I've played other games where they have a hammer where you uh, access all the building. So, and I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm glad they went that way. I really am. All right, couple more and we are done. We have left this place. The Sea Raven is happy. Now we get to move on. All right, let's put, let's see, what are we gonna put in here? You, you and you, I guess. All right, excellent. 
Let's go. Wow, Blue Titan. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Oh, I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> Gosh. Yahoo! <laughs> Here we come, Battle Pass. Ah, <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? Uh, I will buy a DLC or two for this particular uh, Isle of Sipta. So thank you, thank you so much. Hey, come on, guys. Come on. Come on, hump. Oh, what am I doing? Look at me. I'm dying of thirst here and just totally ignoring things. There we go. You coming? You coming, guys? <laughs> um, I don't think you guys will ever see Super Chat on my channel. I, I don't know why, but I, I, I really have a problem with that. I don't think anybody should have to pay anything to talk to me <laughs> on live chat. Nah, I'll talk to everybody. I I may uh, you know not see everybody because I'm playing the game, so I don't always you know follow everything in chat. You know everything that's said, but yeah, I get to you. All right, come on, Humpty, get over here. All right, all right, let's see. Can we, can we, can we, please? No, I don't have any on me. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to take the wood. Um, Do you have stone? No, but I do believe, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Uh... Oh, gosh, 1,000? Oh, I don't need that many. No, it takes more wood than anything else. Oh, we can make 16, though. That's nice. All right, as soon as we're done here, get rid of the rest of the stone. Whoops. Granny, what are you doing? A um, couple more things here. Get it over there. Get it over there. Um, what'd I do? Take his porridge? <laughs> Did I take your porridge, Steve? No, I guess I just had an extra, didn't I? Well, we're going to put it on you anyway. Uh, let's see. All right, let's continue out here then. Yeah, I don't... I, I like this... Um, kind of see-through thing and they're kind of on barrels if you look at it down from the side look at my camels kicking up dust <laughs> there's there's barrels in there I think that they're built on so I kind of wanted uh like solid board floors yeah oh wow 42 yeah come on over here guys you, you, you're ruining my layout here Yeah, you know what, Blue? So do I. So do I. I do. Um, yeah, it's a real issue. <laughs> Storage, uh, they should have bigger boxes right off the bat. I mean, I do use all these stations to store everything in, but you still, you know, you still run out of room. Now, I don't think I can build the cupboards yet. The cupboards do hold more. Uh, but I think I have to have the feet for that, and I'm not sure I do. So let's look at it and see real quick. Um, no, it's not that one. It's down here, I believe. Oh, there's, yeah, there's the orb of Nigel, or Nurgil, whatever it is. There we are. Here we are. Um, this chest allows me. All right, but it has to be made in the artisan's bench. 
So I need to make that. And then I can just throw all this stuff in there. That would actually be the better way to go. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Do I even have that feet yet? I bet I don't. No. So let's pop over and get that. Uh, where do we get it? It should come with this, though, I would think. But it doesn't. Hmm. It doesn't come with that. Uh, this one, maybe? Nope. Well, I should, <laughs> it should be a lot easier than this. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm... Mm, come on now. Come on now, Granny. You can figure this out. Come on. All right, so you know what we're going to do? We're just going to search for it. We're just going to search for it. Artisan's bench. There we go. Furniture maker. Right there. There. Done. Now we can. Okay. Yeah, this is the part that is going to improve by leaps and bounds in this game. And I'm going to like that because this is so annoying. Yeah. Whoops. I need to make it first. Granny, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, uh, nope. 40 wood, huh? Got some on you, Camel? No. Got some on you, Steve? All right. Whoops. Was that 40 I had? No, it's just one, but we'll take it. <laughs> you watch. I used them all in the building, right? Yeah. There's four. All right. Come on. Please have saved some. I didn't. All right. Humpty, we are we going to leave you down here now, honey, because you, you've done your job. Here. I'm going to let you sit in the shade. You work so hard. All right. Come on, Steve. Let's go get some wood. <laughs> Thanks, Kenneth. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm telling you. Um... Funcom has made some wonderful improvements. Yeah, coming up. Can't wait for that part, I'll tell you. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. My hatchet is broke. I figures. Come on. Come on. All right, so we need some iron bar to fix this thing. So let's go ahead and repair everything while we're at it. Seems how I got this out. Whoops. No, that's not how you do it. Well, welcome, Guyana Polo Pronti. <laughs> Excuse me for massacring your name. I'm sure I did. Uh, I, I do apologize that, but welcome. Yeah, glad you're here. For the adventures of the sea raven here we have just finished moving to this new base so we're we're pretty pretty happy about that we're getting organized here so we need to repair some things uh, what else do we need repairing here those are okay we need to repair that um my claws nope any weapons oh we're pretty good otherwise. All right. Nice. So everything is repaired. All right. Now we're good.
So, Guyanne, because I did such a terrible job of pronouncing your name, I'm going to call you Guyanne, if that's all right with you. Uh, yeah. And do you play Conan? And if you do, have you looked at the 3.0? And down we go. We got to get a pile of wood here. What? 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 Come on. There. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Aww. All right. So let's get up here. Let's get up here. Nice. Now, I don't want to go too far because I really don't want to deal with any wolves right now. So I think we're good. We're good with this much. I'm pretty happy with that. But the plan is, with this build, is to, of course, have a dock out there where we can build a ship. <laughs> you ever done that in, in uh, real life, Sesame? Chopped wood? Or stacked wood? Yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, guys, this is going to be awesome because I am going to build this so that the Sea Raven has her perch up here above the workstation. I'm going to have a ladder that goes up to the top there. Yeah, or stairs. Yeah, I'm liking this more and more. I, I'm envisioning, uh, yeah, a pretty big base doing this. Yeah, all right. So now we need to make the artisan bench. Where are we? Do I want the median? Not really. Uh, there we go. And by the time I get this made, I'm going to forget, uh, forget what I wanted to take out of there. So put that there, put this here. And like I said, this is, this is pretty haphazard right now, but I will work on it. Oh, look at all the goodies in here, guys. Now, for those of you who ha had just joined the channel, I do have some mods on this uh, playthrough, this role play. And uh, I have a list of those uh, in the description uh, for, for this uh, playthrough. And I do believe I am using uh, Immersive um, mod. I am also using better thralls so I can have more than one thrall. I can actually have up to 10. I am also using uh, Savage Steel and then uh, Shadow, Shadow, Shadow. Ooh, I can't remember the full name of that um, mod, but those, those are what is giving me all these items. They are not a Conan item. They are a mod item. But as you can see, there's quite a few of those. Now these, these are what I'm going to be looking for. These are going to be cool. I've never done a build entirely with these tavern pieces. So, oh yeah, we wanted the cupboard. That's what we wanted. So we need iron reinforcement and wood. So I do have the wood here. Now, I think I might have put that over here. The iron reinforcement. Maybe in here. Nope, nope. Ah, here they are in the box. So let's throw that in there and make us a couple of cupboards to start putting everything in. There we go. How many can I make? Oh, four? Wow. All right. We're going to make four. Why not? Hey, WW1950. Good to see you here. <laughs> yes. Yes, WW. It is. Yes, it is. As a kid course back in those days uh yeah burning wood uh, for heat in the winter time was very common in the rural areas so yeah my my parents uh, went out and got wood in for the winter 
And of course, you know, they would chop it up and, you know, split it and all that. And us kids would have to stack it in the woodshed. Yeah. So it, it was actually fun. I enjoyed that part. We were taught how to stack it so that it wouldn't lean forward and, you know, and fall on you and that kind of thing. And yeah, we used to have to do that after school. We'd come home, do our homework, and then we'd have to go out and, uh, yeah, stack some wood, do it on the weekend. Um, I even remember going up into the woods actually and, and helping them. Yeah. It, it was a great way to grow up. I have no complaints. Uh, let's see. I only made three, huh? I thought I made four. Well, I guess not. All right, so let's get these down so we can put the rest of these items in here. I think I will throw these right here for now in a very haphazard manner. And yeah, just throw all this stuff in. That's right, Sesame. Uh, as a kid, you were expected to help with those things. Um, you know, you never felt like, you know, you were asked to do much. It was just accepted. You just did it. If you want to survive, you know, you best, you best be helping out. So it was, uh, it was a very common thing. I, I, like I said, I did not mind at all it, because you didn't feel like you were being treated badly or anything like that, you know? And I did take everything off you, didn't I, Humpty? Oh, no, I didn't, Humpty. Ooh, we need to take that off you, my boy. So he was actually carrying my bed. Sea Raven has humble beginnings here. Very humble beginnings. So let's put another... Let's put another one right here for now. And then right here for Humpty. So Humpty's not in the dark. Yeah, get over there, Steve. <laughs> yes, WW. Yes. Uh, Potbelly stove was it. Yep. And man, that was just, that was just awesome. I remember as a kid, uh, Sunday night, we uh, took our baths and uh, my mother would uh, put our pajamas in the wintertime on a clothesline behind the potbelly stove to thaw them out because she did hang her laundry outside. And of course, in the wintertime, it just froze and she'd bring it in and it'd dry behind the stove and make a big bowl of popcorn. We'd be in our nice warm jammies. And that was the night that Disney did a movie. Yeah, every Sunday night, Disney did a movie. So that was our, you know, family entertainment. Because TV at that time uh, started at 8 o'clock in the morning, but then everything went off the air at midnight. No more TV after midnight. Yep. It was, it was pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, there you go, Sesame. Absolutely. <laughs> Angar. Helping to split logs with an axe as a kid was super exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, exciting it was not. But um, looking back on it, I'm sure I had my complaints as a kid. But looking back on it now as an adult, I have extremely fond memories of it. Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right. So there we are. We have it, guys. We have it. I think now it's time to go look for some more money here. Steve, are we ready? I've got plenty of food, I do believe. Yes, I do. Uh, I probably need to fill my water again. Let's drop you. And is this the long time? Yeah, both of these are. Yeah, okay. Excellent. So I am going to need to pick up some wood so I can repair my torch. I didn't do that before. I was just using the old cheap torches because they were just easier to repair. They only needed plant fiber. Uh, but this guy, yeah, he needs plant fiber and wood, but he lasts longer. 
Now I keep ordering Steve because you use the same button to order him as you do to pick up the wood. So that's why I, you can see me ordering him to do something. <laughs> yeah, split your own wood and let it warm you twice. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no lie about that. Okay. So now we have a little bit of fiber so we can repair our torch should we need to because I just know it's going to get dark here soon. So we're going to go up and raid this camp again. Uh, I could go down and see if there's some flotsam crates. I really want that shovel. Really, really want that shovel. So we're going to go down here just one more time and see if we can't get it. Now I do know this is the place where it spawns the most. So yes, they did test me. They are going to give you more key binds. Yep. For those of you who use the keyboard and mouse, I'm using an Xbox controller. Yeah. And you can hear it clicking away. Yeah. I tried to uh, mask that. I haven't figured out how to do that with my mic yet. So it won't pick that up, but I, other than kind of making something to hide my hands under the table so it's not so close to the mic, uh, I, I don't know what else I can do about that. All right, here we are. Is it getting dark or is it just... I don't know. This game does funky things with the lights this Isle of Sipta. You see that? I mean, the sun is not completely down now, but it's, it's just doing this weird thing. So I don't know if I can get to the flotsam boxes without dealing with these guys or not. Oh, they're not even here? Oh, they must take a long time to respawn, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess they do they are not here well fine we're not gonna deal then oh I guess we are gonna deal <laughs> all right all right buddy you're gonna insist you are gonna insist there way to go Steve uh, we're gonna take that stuff no I don't really need to but we're just gonna rob your chest if you don't mind, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! Sea Raven, what are you doing? You don't know. No, no, you don't kick, girl. What are you doing? No. Nope. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, he's a level three. Ooh. You know, I could really. See that? Oh, I just love that. I still, you know, I'm still not quite sure what triggers that. Ooh, we'll take, we'll take the. Oh, thanks, David. Awesome. Yeah, anybody who would like to join my Discord, uh, just look in the description of this uh, live stream. And you will see a link to my Discord there. Ooh, happy to have you join. It'd be awesome. Oh, gosh. They're just going to give me paints. I don't want dyes. I want flots and boxes. Ah, yes, buddy. Wow. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, hey, girly. Ooh. You have mace on you. I half expected. Ooh, half expected some daggers on her. Ooh, we'll take the oil though. All right, fine. Well, we'll go up to the other camp, the other big camp up there, and see what they have to offer. Oh man, look at this! <gasps> Two gold bars and eight gold coins. Yes, yes, sir. 
Yes, because each one of those cold gold bars will, um, I can turn those into five gold coins each. Yeah, so there's 10 gold coins right there. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay, Inger. Enjoy your meal. Yum, yum. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, spending time. Always love to have you guys in chat. All right, come on. Let's go do it. You coming? You coming, Steve? Yeah, like I said, I need 60 gold coin to get another set of armor off that guy. Unless I can talk him down. I probably might be able to talk him down again. That would be nice if I could do that. But I don't know. We need our torch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, do I like that. Yeah, that's going to be something, that right there. I'm excited about my base. So I think just up around this corner up here is where I want to be. And I know there's some gators here. Better let my stamina build up. Uh, better pop out my sword. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, Steve. Jump in there. No, no. There we go. Nice. Uh, maybe after uh, we get to this camp up here, we can get some more gold. Aw, thanks, Sesame. See you later. Oh, two of them in the dark. Hi, guys. No. Yes. He, oh, he just leveled up. He may not have a lot of health, but because of his survival, he really heals fast. So good old Steve here. What are you now? He's a level nine. Excellent. So his strength is up to 7, his agility is 10 now, and his, but his survival is 17. And he's up to 697 in his health pool, so yeah, he's not doing too shabby. Yay, Sesame, you keep him coming. <laughs> I'll be right there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play that when it comes out. It's in early access right now, but yeah, when it comes out, I'll be there. Uh, where are we going here? Oh, I guess we have to go up here, don't we? Otherwise, I'm going to be swimming around this whole thing. So we need to go this way. And yeah, there's there they are. Uh, there's the first camp. Now the first camp, uh, we had to enter in a certain direction. Otherwise we got really overwhelmed. So we kind of have to be careful with that. So let's just sneak over here. And again, I'm looking for flotsam crates too. 
And let's see, how many potions do I have on me? Did I take them all out? Oh, I did. Oh, <gasps> granny. Well, we can make some right now, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So let's go ahead and... How many can we make? 13? Oh, that's plenty. All right, so we'll get that going. Oh, look at this. I still have these on me. Oh, granny. Yeah, so I think we came around this direction. We got an easier chance in there. But you know what? I think we're going to go out around this way. Yeah. And maybe explore more over there. Look at that place. Now, there was one... Yeah, I guess that's a yeah, that's the one we were looking at. This one is the one that had the undead in it. And that whole place over there. But I kind of want to scout that place out too. So we're going to go hit um head out here. Okay, David, have fun. That's a phenomenal game. You're doing so well with it. Yeah, have fun. And thanks for stopping in. Uh, all right, we got a gator here, of course. He's minding his own business, but still. Oh. <laughs> and then, of course, there's two. Ouch. Oh, and then there's three. No, 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 no. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled. Steve, I'm counting on you. Come on, buddy. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to leave the turtle alone, of course. All right, so do we have any crates here? We don't, do we? Nope. Oh, look at that tower up there. Yeah. Oh, here's some wreckage over here, too. All right, now I was able to take down that first skeleton over there. So, you know, there might be gold over there. Much as it's against my better judgment, we're going to go over there anyway. You know, you're right there, Sean. That's a good tip. That's a very good tip, you know, to just make them as you need them. Whoa! Hello! boy. Go ahead and bite me. Steve will get you. No. No. There. Alright, so build up that stamina, Granny. Let's get these on here, because I'm going to need them. I just know it. I think there was, like, one right here somewhere. There's another hyena. Where? Yeah, there he is. He's right there. Ooh, he's a different sort. Um, ooh, look at that sword he's got. Oh, oh, it causes corruption. That's it, Steve. Get him in the back. Ooh, ouch. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. Woo, he's a tough one. You know, as long as we've only got one at a time here, I think we can handle him, but. There we go, there we go. Yeah, and I don't think he, ooh, he does drop something. What did you drop? Ooh, 
Steel bar. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how many are in here. <laughs> yeah, Sean, that's the only way to go <laughs> in this game. Um, go for it, Steve. Go for it. Oh, but there's another one up there. Oh, no, 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 no. This is what I didn't want to happen. There. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Whoa, we're in over our head, though. There's three of them now. Oh, no. Ah. Run, Granny. <laughs> Can you climb? Can you climb, Granny? Get on there. <laughs> chicken. You chicken granny. Oh, you're going to fall. You just know it. Oh, we've got an archer. Look at that. I left poor Steve down there by himself. Oh, no. All right. We got to go, Steve. Steve, Steve. Come on. Come on. Did they kill him? I think they killed him. They did. Yeah, they did. Oh, no. Big mistake. There goes Steve. <laughs> Poor Steve. Oh, no. Are they still coming after me? They are. Yeah, Steve is like gone. Yep. All right. Let's check our follower menu here. Yep, just Humpty's left. <laughs> well, that wasn't a very good adventure at all. Ooh. Yeah, I should have pulled out as the minute I saw two more come. Yeah, because three of those bad boys is bad news. Steve just didn't have enough health. All right, so that just means we're going to have to uh, go get us another thrall. Uh, I really should have a level three anyway. Hey, Rue, how are you? <laughs> it's good to see you here. I just lost my one and only thrall. <laughs> yeah, Sean, take that. Oh, I know. All right. All right, Granny. You went and ruined it. All right. They're going to pay. We're going to be back with a vengeance. Yeah. I might get me, uh, uh, like, two level threes. I still have my Wheel of Pain over there. So we're going to do that. <laughs> yeah, Rue. Another tombstone, all right. I probably should have a graveyard this time. I think that would be very cool. <laughs> I think I will. Well, that'll be on my list to do. Uh, yeah, Sean, there is, yeah. But I think they had him overwhelmed. I don't think he could have gone anywhere, to be honest with you. I don't even think he would have uh, been able to return to me unless I got far enough away so he just teleported. But, yeah. But that's okay. Like I said, he was, he was only a level two. It's not like he was a, you know, really huge thrall. I mean... He didn't have very good stats. He only had 657 health, so. Yeah, it probably is on a keyboard, Rue, but I'm playing with a uh, Xbox controller. So if I hit the square button with that, uh, if I have a thrall following me, it, it brings up a menu. I have four dis different choices. I can tell him to attack or I can tell him to return to me or, you know, follow me, that kind of thing. Yeah, so that was a, uh, a failed mission right there. <laughs> the sea raven is is uh 
Unfamiliar with the undead. She just got acquainted. Uh, yeah, now she knows that you don't mess with them. Yeah, Sean, you know, that's too bad because I could see his health. I mean, I knew he was getting down there and so I tried to pull him out in time, but I just, I just didn't make it. I mean, I didn't get him out of there in time. Yeah, I was running out of stamina. Running out of stamina is, is, is my biggest bane. Yeah, oh, I've got eight more, more points here, so we're just going to throw those into grit. Yeah, so if I can get to the next perk in grit. I'll uh, gain an additional 10% stamina per regeneration regen tick. So it'll tick back up there faster for me. But, you know, in the meantime, not much I can do. Um, hmm. I guess we're the next outcrop, aren't we? What was that? That's a nice little place, too, actually. Yeah, but isn't that... Yeah, that's right here. That's still too far that way. We want to stay over here as much as possible. Um... And I kind of want to know what that ship is over there. Now, I could make the trek over swimming to check that out. And I just might do that. But I have a feeling uh, I got a ways to go here. Uh, I am only... What level am I? I'm only level 28. I'm trying to accomplish a lot here at a low level. So... Oh, Rue, you've been messing a little with the mod bosses to be thrallable? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, it's not fair. <laughs> no. Boy, I bet it is fun, though. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I have 23 of these. So let's, let's get these down. I think this is, if I come out this far, I think that's going to give me enough base space here. Yeah, I think so. And then from here, uh, I plan on building a dock down to the water. Yeah. And one of these mods gives me a really cool dock piece. And, and I really like the looks of it. I don't know if I can pull it up or not. It's probably in the artisan's bench, I would imagine. Um, yeah, let's see if it is. Or it might be in the building, too. But I don't know under what it would be. Uh, nope. I don't see it. So I don't. I don't know... I probably can't get it until I do, yeah, one of these other feats. I'll have to check it out and see when I can have that available. Bleh, available. So, all right, guys, I think I'm going to call it. <laughs> yeah, I lost my thrall. So we have to go get another one. Uh, like I said, I might as well go right over there. Oh, no, I got to get my, my truncheon and my bindings. And, uh, yeah. So tomorrow night, I will be doing the normal 5 o'clock stream. So uh, that's mountain time. And we will continue this. We will get ourselves a level 3 uh, thrall. We are all moved. So we did get that done. Uh, yeah, Blue. <laughs> I lost Steve. Poor Steve. Yeah, you get overwhelmed by those undead. Yeah, I was fighting two of them and that was okay, but a third one showed up and they just overwhelmed him and my stamina, of course, didn't hold up. So, 
Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm only level 28. I have no business, you know, actually tackling them guys <laughs> that level. Yeah, Blue, you'll have to play it back. <laughs> Wasn't pretty. Wasn't pretty. But there you have it. But I did see a level three over here. So we're going to try and see if we can't sneak one of those out of here. Uh, it's going to be quite the chore. Because they're a level three is pretty hard to knock out on barbarian mode. Now I have to remind everybody that I am on barbarian mode, and I have to kind of remember that myself, because these enemies are much stronger, and I take a lot more damage, and so does my thrall in that mode. Just so, yeah, <laughs> Sean, Steve, a minor footnote in the Raven's life. Unfortunately, yes, <laughs> and I kind of knew that. Yeah. Oh, so there we are. We have our wheel of pain here. So that will be uh, tomorrow's five o'clock. We're going to get us another uh, level three. I won't settle for anything less. I think uh, really do need a much better thrall for that. And uh, yeah, and then continue on. I need to find crew. That's what I need to do next is uh, find some good thralls because we have our base moved. I'll probably work on that a little bit uh, off stream. So, uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys, for for uh, sharing your time with me. I sure do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, whoopee. The Sea Raven is on her way. She's itching to get her ship built and a new crew hired. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Bad Dad. <laughs> now, God, and Sean, and Blue, and Rue. Yeah, thank you all and uh, all those who've already left. Uh, David and let me see if I can get this to show up. It's hard for me to name. Yeah, FBI, there you are. Thank you so, so much, guys. And our newest member, Guyanne, if you're still here, thank you, thank you so much. And yeah, guys, until next time, GG out. <laughs>